when you've imported a floor into AutoCAD, there's nearly always a few little modifications to make, usually in the area of the uh, perimeter of the floor around the edge. And what we want to do is we just want to put another joist along this edge here. So we're just going to copy this joist over to pick up the edge of the decking. And what I've done is I've just drawn a line 50mm in from the end of the beam and all we do is use the AutoCAD copy command. Let's go copy, pick the joist, pick this tag which is its connection, pick the tag at the other end and then just copy from there to the end point there. And that is literally all you have to do. Just copy the, the tag and the um, joist itself. And what we need to do is just copy a tie bar over. So we'll just copy a tie bar from there. This doesn't have to be particularly accurate. It's only to um, indicate where the tie bar is. We'll just do that and then we'll just stretch it. Just drag it into position. We don't really need that tag. It's just to remind the installers to put a tie bar in there as well. Just to mention a little bit more about these tags. These tags tell our detailing program where the holes are needed in the beams. And they, it also tells them which hole pattern to use, uh, which is determined by the joist depth, obviously, and the manufacturer of the joist. But that whole area of the software is completely customizable to virtually any type of hole pattern and cleat arrangement. And I'll talk about that in, in some detail in other videos, but I don't want to go into that in too much depth at this stage. We just want to get on and uh, get some fabrication drawings off, off this drawing. What uh, Multisteel allows you to do very quickly and easily is to create material summaries on the, on the drawing. Uh, let's um, do a material list for our beams. So we're going to use our layer manipulation again. We're going to display our beams. And I'm going, going to go to this command called Material Summary and I'm just going to window my beams. And what it's done is created a cutting list. Let's say cutting list in the top there. So that would be a cutting list uh, irrespective of mark numbers. What I'm actually going to do is an item list because I want to see my mark numbers as well. And we just say Add to Drawing and uh, I'll just place it down down here. Now we can do the same thing for all of our different members. Incidentally this can be exported to uh, an Excel file as well or any kind of text file. Okay so there's a material list. I'll double click on the title and I'll just change it to beam list. Now that obviously is accurate and very very quick to do. Just put my layers on again, put it right on top of my heading, so I'm just going to move it down. Let's do the same for the columns. Let's use the, the layer system again, so we just go along to columns. There's our columns which we can just see. Let's pick those and make sure we get those ones too. So there's our column list, and I'll just say add to drawing. It always says, do you want to replace existing ones? Well, I don't want to do that. So I'll just put them underneath. OK, and I'll change that to column list. Helps if you can spell, actually. Column list, OK. And we need to do the same for our joists. OK, uh, let's just layers on, layers off find the joists. All of these have, have tool tips so they're quite easy to identify. You just get used to them anyway. Let's list all of our joists. Yeah, we've got the edge. Okay, so it's giving me my joist summary. I just go add to drawing. And I'll just put those alongside my um, 
my other lists, and I'll say that's a choice list. There we go. So there's my my material summaries for my main materials. Okay, let's switch our layers back on. You can see how useful it is being able to isolate uh, different types of member. Uh, it's very, very useful in, in lots of different ways. Um, so that's why we've set up these special layering commands to, to do things like that. Okay, in the next video we'll actually create some fabrication drawings for our beams, columns and joists and so on. So that's just um, doing a few modifications and also creating our material summaries.